Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. Today I want to show you my new X-Ray Transformer in a bit more detail. Now I've had a chance to sit down and stare at this thing for over an hour or so. So I've come up with a bit of a schematic here which is somewhat incomplete in that I don't have all of the measurement coils finished off here. Um, but I have 100% completed the high voltage schematic that you're looking at there. Uh, so we're starting off with the 240 volts AC 50 hertz single phase input power going into the first transformer consisting of the L1 and L2 on the first level which is the bottom level of the, uh, the main unit and we have a grounded core and the output of the L2 coil goes through two of the rectifier diodes which is situated on the top level of the transformer and the output of that L2 goes straight into these two coils here which are the L3 and L4 coil which form one midpoint grounded secondary I guess you could say between this primary and secondary here. Um, now this L3 and L4 secondary forms the primary of the transformer on this isolation transformer here which is sitting on the second level of the unit um, and the L5 pickup coil with the other two diodes from level 3 form the high voltage winding. Um, now I'm saying this is more of an isolation transformer because of the fact that we're using fairly heavy gauge wire here and you'll see how that works uh, when we have a look at the actual transformer itself. Now the negative high voltage terminal goes straight to ground. We have two transformers sitting in on that line. Um, I haven't detailed the outputs of the L7 and L9 coil um, because as I said I, th I believe those are purely measurement coils. Um, so yeah that's not complete but um, let's have a look at this whole setup here and go from there. So as we saw on the schematic we've got the main high voltage step up transformer on the first level here. This is the second level and the third level with the rectifiers here. Uh, so let's go in for a closer look. So starting from the top we have the high voltage federal connectors we've got the low voltage output pins for measurement purposes and we've got the 240 volts AC uh, single phase power coming in there and the AC input power comes over to these two terminals here which go straight in under here to the level 1 transformer which is the high voltage step up transformer and you can see the um, the output wires from the secondaries here that are split in half they go straight out to the rectifier diodes on the far side and then come straight back out to the um, L3 and L4 coils there which are mounted on this core here and the L5 coil is sitting in the middle there going out to these two diodes and then out to this high voltage output terminal here. This is the terminal board here which goes out to the low voltage output pins there. Um, you can see that all of them are labelled We've got F1, F2, K, C, 6 and MA. Um, I've already tracked a few of those back so I'm pretty confident that they're all for measurement purposes but I'll finish that schematic off later. We'll go around to the other side of the transformer and I'll show you the other two windings which we saw on the negative high voltage terminal which is this one here goes straight to ground and um, connects 
You can see the um, the ground lead coming out of the, the base there. It goes straight to ground under here. And the other terminals go to these two coils here. Um, and the outputs of those coils go straight out to the terminal board again. Um, so we can see we have one here and another one sitting over here. Um, pretty simple circuit but um, it looks pretty powerful and you can see that the transformer on the first level consists of two cores. There's one on that half and then the other one on this half and the um, the winding sort of join them both together it sort of wraps around both of them in a shell type transformer arrangement now these diodes are fairly simple just a straight positive and negative terminal and a little vacuum port there uh, they don't require any heating of any low voltage high current sources uh, they are KR9s you can see there and I don't have any specs on the diodes or the transformer anywhere um, so I will have to do a bit of digging and see if I can come up with some data sheets or some information about where this transformer came from so that I can find out roughly what the output actually is before we turn it That's on. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments.